Listen to the sound of the sea. This documentary would like to tell the audience a story which starts from the sea. Bradford has a huge demand of seafood because quite a few citizens here. As you know, Bradford is also an inland city, which is far away from the sea. So, where is the seafood in Bradford from? It comes from various places.、Uh, we get stuff from Grimsby, Scotland. Because of the long transportation, the method for the retailer to keep food fresh is very significant. You will pack it in ice. Advance the machines always to be used as store rooms. And there's just this one in the end. That's a refrigerator. Uh huh. The others are freezers. Selling fresh seafood in Oyster shopping market shows how hardworking the retailers are. They imported diverse seafood, which produced nearly all around the world. They are ordinary folks, but they do extraordinary work. Overall. The project is making a documentary named "Ordinary and Extraordinary." It was based on a story named "Priestly," and、uh, using this documentary to answer one question: Where the seafood in Bradford from? To record the hardworking staff's daily lives and represent their enthusiasm to work. Moving to the last point. The documentary would represent on YouTube and official websites of Bradford City Council Market, which aims to create an online star retailer.、Uh, by using this special way to raise folks' awareness and let them to shop in the Bradford Market. That's it. Thank you. Hi guys! Today now I want to introduce my idea about major project, and、uh, actually my pitch is about making a documentary named、uh, "Ordinary and Extraordinary." Okay, my presentation starts now.、Um, first of all,、uh, actually I divide my presentation into four sections. I will introduce practicalities firstly, and、uh, introduce about my research into subjects, and then、uh, show my research into resources. And lastly, I will focus on other examples I studied before. Now, about practicalities,、um, I will introduce scope and format. As I mentioned before,、um, although it is a documentary about the markets, however, I just focus on very small store because I want to explore more deeply. My aim is creating an online star retailer and、uh, attract more tourists or customers to visit、uh, Bradford Market. However, I just want to use one story from one small store to reflect many things about how hardworking the retailers are and、uh, how fresh this fish is. And finally,、uh, this documentary will be about thirty minutes to forty-five minutes, and it will be published on YouTube and other platforms to. Uh, propagate the market. Let's moving on the number two point: research into subject. About the documentary background, because Bradford is an inland city. Regarding to this point, I talked with teachers and、uh, the staffs of the store. They told me Bradford is far away from the sea. After that. I try to know where this fish import, and the staff told me、uh, some of them from、uh, Scotland. And we,、uh, I searched on the maps. Scotland is far away from Bradford, you know. After that, I also、uh, searched some data about the population, the number of population in Bradford,、uh, because it will show the high demand of the seafood. After that, because、uh, it is a project to attract more 
citizens to visit the market.、And、so I went to the market before, and I found, while、well, there are quite a few old generations. However, I cannot find、um, many young generations. So the main task for us is attracting more young generations, even some tourists. Therefore, I decide to use a question: Where the fish in Britain from? <laughs> I think it's an interesting question, and it will attract more young gen- young generation to watch the documentary. Apart from that, I also search some guidebooks to teach us how to make documentary,、uh, because we all lack of the experience about making documentary. Now moving on to the number three. It is about research into resources, and we could say there are five main points. The first one is technology. I believe we need to use some cameras, like professional camera, and even use a GoPro because we need to film during the traveling to the sea. After that, we need to use, of course, microphone and the tripod. Use the editing room and the recording room too. Other than that, about human resources, um, as I mentioned before, because it's a documentary to record a fish store named Priestley, so I have contacted with the store before, and actually they are really kind and willing to help us and join into our film. Here is the content number and some information about the staff of the store. Um, his name is Philip, and、um, he is very kind, and he could help us. And of course, the boss of the store also g- agree with the project. Moreover, I will introduce about the team roles. Uh, the graph shows the team roles in details. Oh my God, the pictures quality is bad, so I need to. Introduced by myself,、uh, the first one is planner. He is responsible for making the plan of the project and make a schedule of the project. And then here is the link man. This guy need to communicate with the retailer, the marketing manager of the city council market, and、uh, all the group members. He need to re- arrange the time for shooting and all the meetings. The third one is screenwriter. Uh, he need to write the script of the documentary, and、uh, finally, the script will be used by the narrator to tell the story during the documentary. And then, uh, there is the filming group and editing group. After filming and editing, there is the dubbing specialist to dubbing as a narrator. Other than that, here is the task list for the project. Then, with regarding to the costing, it's hard for me to imagine how much money we need to spend. I just could say if we、uh, film in other cities, maybe the transportation fee is expensive. Moving on to the last point, last number number four.、Uh, other examples. I explored th- those four documentaries before, especially for the Zero Dreams of Sushi and a Bite of China. I studied their informations and the influence of these documentaries. Actually, they inspired me a lot. Zero Dreams of Sushi told me a documentary could just focus on one small store and ref- reflect many spirits. Apart from that, a bite of China gave me a deep influence because it told me a good documentary could affect quite a few peoples, even young generations. To summarize the presentation,、uh, today I introduced the details of my、uh, project ideas. Following the introduction, I also explained all my ideas in details. It includes. Practicalities, research into subjects, and my research into resources. And lastly, I introduce other examples. Anyway, please feel free to ask me qu- further questions about the project.